I, I am going to uh, let chat know that I am 100% biased in this game. Uh, this will not be fairly called from my end because Beehawk is running a double Seeker Needle Bad Penny deck. Okay. And right. um, I'm rooting for Beehawk the entire way. All right, let's get this. Let's get this going. I got my my overlay set up just perfectly, just how I like it. Ooh, we've got the control of the week, Dominator Bobble, Witch of the Eye combo coming in from Beehawk here. This Ooh. could be very very Ooh. spicy. I think it's going to be very very spi spicy. Vera of Harchapel. So what's we no, got? We got Coda versus. Been... Oh yes, this is a uh, this is a uh, the deck we saw previously with Jason. So mm -hmm. go ahead and start a round timer. Yeah, go for it. Jason's been fighting since losers round two, so mm -hmm. he's got some more reps today with his deck. Oh yeah. Um, I think that uh, B Hawk, this being the first game today, at least during the tournament that he's playing with the deck, um, things could change a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, plays out the bad penny instead of the common discard. I am already enjoying this. <laughs> this is good. All right, red alert. Oh, we've seen this before. They're definitely these these early early game turns. They're definitely speeding through them real quick. But that bad That's penny, a of course. Big Commander Chan there. Look at him. Look at him go. Six power, two armor. Whew. Not sure you would do so badly playing this, but you did awesome casting. <laughs> well, thank you, Felipe. Also, thanks for the uh, thanks for the resub, Justin. We were we were sad. Uh, we were sad. Clay's bracket dream didn't happen, but uh, hopefully he had some good games. Uh, the bracket results I will post them, and you will see them. You will hear me saying this uh, in three minutes. But there is the brackets. And um. All right, I've just ignored it this game. It looks like so. Dave beat Cav, so um, the winner of this will face Dave Cordero. Ooh. Some st some stiff competition. All right, what are we looking at here? So it looks like Jason has has started to establish a a beachhead uh, on the Star Alliance front. Um, oh, nice. So full moon discards save the pack. Grasping binds to stuff that transporter platform uh, back into deck. Or back into hand rather, um, and then a regrowth to pick back up the Ember Imp, and then look at that—that's a sort of sad draw for Beehawk there. He, yeah, he drew the customs office, and just oh, knowing that Jay was gonna play into that Star Alliance, even even with just the transporter platform down, he's got the board established. It's gonna put him into check. This is um, first. Uh, First key doesn't go to B Hawk because of the Garcia there. Mm -hmm. Wow, this this is a back and forth. They're playing fast and furious. <laughs> fast and furious, but uh, I mean, it's not it's not necessarily one sided here. You know, they're both no. both at around check. Um, well, it's a bear flute. Yeah, bear flute. What a sweet card. All right, well, yeah, shuffling back in that discard could be huge versus these infernuses. B Hawk has my uh, has has me behind him because because the bear flute is one of the coolest cards in the world. Pawn sacrifice with the bad penny to get rid of them Star Alliance wimps. <laughs> this, uh, I'm 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 enjoying watching this. I I realize we aren't keeping up. They're 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 doing they're doing it it fast. Both of these players obviously know these decks very well. Um, they're doing very very quickly it looks like uh b hawk is currently up a key mm. um moving into looking for um he's got a hand that says i hope my opponent doesn't have three in furnaces in their hand at the moment <laughs> um because that dust pixie nature skull um grasping vines that's a whole lot of pips going on it it sure is sure is And that was a was a good good turn for Beehawk though. Uh took care of some dorks. Um uh, generated yeah. a boatload of amber. Uh and yeah, it's not not bad. I think if he'd been able to get to check there, um it'd it'd be really, really rough mm -hmm. for Jay. Yeah. It'd be really interesting to see what, what Jason picks up. Uh okay, let's 
Uh, it's, I mean, gets the inference to uh, the hysteria was discarded. Looks like. Does this I take like this. two grasping this vines? Nature's call. It does Dust take two pixie. vines? Trying to clog up his opponent's hand as much as possible. Oh my gosh! Look at that ember. Look at that ember. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way that uh, Jay's going to be able to stop this key. I think he's going to just try and hemorrhage these losses by getting the most cards out of his hand as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're just stuck playing the house you don't want to. Grasping Vines to bounce that key to disc could, I, is could done an amazingly crazy play. Yeah. Still sitting on that Ember Imp that was regrossed like three turns ago, two turns ago. Oh, the ancient bear is foiled too. Yeah, yeah. We're talking. I, I, I was gonna say I really like a dis turn here to drop that ember imp. You get the pip. You're in check. You're forcing your opponent to uh, basically go um, do something that they don't necessarily want to do here. Mm -hmm. See, is that uh, destroy each creature with odd power? So that that onyx knight will come down. Uh, the buzzle will pay the price as long as uh, as well as the dodger and the Invernus comes down there is a dust pixie uh, in Beehawk's discard pile so that's a, a little bit of a little bit of relief um, but yeah there's certainly a lot of stuff that needs to happen and, and that's, purging that's the nice. control of the week is huge because that can finalize a game very very quickly mm-hmm I think we'll see the life word popped here regardless. Um, I honestly, um, this is turning around quickly though. I think Jay may have stabilized this match a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely, not, not out of the woods yet though. There's a, let's see, stealth mode, uh, transporter platform. The life word was not used. Uh, maybe maybe B Hawk's thinking, uh, he knows that there's a bunch of infernuses, so maybe trying to get to check and then pop the life ward to prevent the infernuses from coming down. Yeah, yeah. And and he didn't have a creature down to get those wards off of the um, Thero Centurion or the Legatus Raptor sure. uh, sure. using the Dominator Bobble. Um, if if I'm Beehawk right now, I'm trying to I'm trying really really hard to get to my um, get to my. Uh, pips in my untamed so that I can get that key charge off. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the rock co comes down. Um, reap, reap. This, this, is, this could be big. Yeah, yeah, especially with the amount of cards that are getting drawn. So maybe we see a six emper? No. No six emper. There's the gateway. Um, and then the life ward, perhaps. Yeah, and shaffles. Uh, gets gets you there. Um, doesn't Ooh. doesn't quite have enough to get that key charge off this next turn, regardless of what Jay does with his amber. Mm -hmm. I think that Jay's gonna drop down a bunch of Saurians right now. Um, get that double tribute going on. Get as much amber on his Gargantodon as possible, and hope he draws into that six Emperor. Oh yeah, I mean he's got it at some point, right? Just, just gotta. Uh, have we seen? We saw. No, we saw both of them. I see what you're saying. Yeah, we so both of, both of them have yeah. already been played. I missed that. I thought he was still waiting to draw one. Uh, and that, that's uh, that little witch of the eye out there. I don't. It doesn't look like. Uh, doesn't look like Jay's gonna have an answer for that. I, yeah, I like this play because it's a it's a very huge threat that says you know, um, hey, I, I'm going to be doing. <laughs> not nice things. Mm -hmm. Very, very mean things. Unfortunately, Beehawk does not have anything in his discard because he did draw up. Or did he use the bear flute? I think he used the bear flute to reshuffle, right? Uh, that seems likely. I wasn't paying too close attention, to be honest. Nope, he ran out of cards. Going and can't can't forget about that lash. I mean, I'm just really impressed with B Hawks, um, holding on to this life ward. That's just 
some I, yeah. I, I, I'm like, I'm not a good player, but I probably would have just popped out like at least five turns ago for probably no benefit whatsoever. But it takes a lot of uh, strategy, I think, to to kind of be patient with that that out on the board. What's up, Alchemist? Uh, just commentating. Commentating with uh, the Sanctimonious um, Glorious Few Invitational. All right, so we're seeing some some shadows come down. Play Silvertooth, reaps, pawn sacrifices, deals some damage, uh, uses some secret needles. Yeah. Here we go. I think he's really, really hoping that his amber doesn't get messed with this turn, and he can pull through and, and get that key charge. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I think that that is probably going to be it, right? Those Kirby's aren't going to do much. No, no, they aren't. And I, um, and the life ward was popped there to prevent the infernus so that he can stabilize at that five amber. Mm -hmm. Drops down grasping vines, nature's call, uh, key charge. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's that's all that's going to be written in this in this particular particular game. But man, that was they were playing playing fast and loose there. Really yeah, that, these that cards. was really nice to see. Obviously, two players who are extremely comfortable with these decks mm -hmm. know the right play right away. Um, and just, yeah, pulling out the key charge for the win. Make, making it happen. Making it happen. Hello. Hello. Congratulations, Beehawk. Hey, thanks. Yeah, that was a... Uh, you, you guys were like speeding it seems like uh it seems like you're pretty comfortable with your deck now, hold on let me uh turn you guys up real quick sure sure i've been told i'm 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 just quiet in discord but there ain't nothing i can do about it all right cool got you that turned up i can hear you now sweet uh so I, I was just mentioning it it seems like uh you and you and jason were pretty you were flinging cards there uh, or how many how many plays would you say you have with your the deck you're playing um, let me see here. With uh, Vera, games tracked, I have a lot. Uh, it's one of my most played decks. Uh, I just love that deck a lot. I have <laughs> over 420 games. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think you have more games with that deck than I've like literally played Keyforge in my entire life, uh, which yeah, uh, is Vera just impressive. Is, uh, thanks. There's just like the deck that I feel like is my play style. Mm -hmm. Just like a lot has a lot of options. Sure. Now I, I gotta ask. Um, I was I was really impressed with how you um, uh, how you like were so patient with your uh, activation of your life ward. Um, what what kind of were you specifically looking for uh, in that in like uh, to trigger trigger that uh, activation to prevent your opponent from from uh, playing creatures. Yeah, I think the, the first life word I had, um, I knew I had gateway to dis. So I was just trying to be patient so that I could play gateway to dis and then life word mm -hmm. so that I could get max value out of that. But then also you use life word to prevent and furnaces mm -hmm. uh, to prevent him from playing a lot of the big dinosaur creatures. So mm -hmm. uh, that's just what I aim to do. Nice. And and would you say, I mean, obviously you came out with the W. Um, would you say kind of the deck performed as as you expected it, it to at after this many, you know, this this much experience with the deck? Um, yeah, I, I think it it performed pretty well. Uh, I, I don't think it was super above average because uh the game uh did take a little longer than my average. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 turns is a lot but mm -hmm. um, I felt like I just I had control at some points and started to lose it when he was able to double tribute his Gargantodon uh, I got a little worried but I knew if I could just like draw into a nature's call or mm -hmm. another dance of doom then I might be able to snag something mm -hmm. sure sure. cool well uh, we won't hold also, you on for oh yeah go, go for it Clay 
thank you so much for playing the bad penny um with all the synergies in that deck i really do appreciate that play instead of discarding it um i love the bad penny combos in that deck it's my favorite card um and how excited are you for a possible sanctimonious showdown in the losers bracket oh man that would be the best because then even if i lose i still win <laughs> it's a win it's a win for the the community team right that's <laughs> yeah exactly so uh, i think it'd be really cool a really great showing by us and nice. uh to your comment about bad penny i do love bad penny it's, it's actually my second most played card my first being control of the week Ooh. that is awesome i <laughs> i appreciate that so much <laughs> yeah no i problem. mean really all, all it says is you can just keep playing bad penny because she keeps dying you know I, I see through you. I see. I see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, uh, well, we won't hold up, hold up any more of your time. But uh, thanks for coming in uh, for the interview, and thanks for that. Just a uh, pretty sweet game we just got got to watch. That was really hey, exciting. Thank you. Thank you very much for streaming it. Yeah. No problem. I'll catch you later, Behawk.